In this video, I will show you how to use a Bluetooth keyboard on four different devices. A MacBook Pro, a PC using Windows 11, an iPad Pro, and an iPhone. This keyboard is the Anchor Model A7726 Ultra Slim Bluetooth keyboard. Just to let you know that this keyboard is not one of those that can switch between devices with a press of a button. This is just a $20 model. But I do have a workaround that you may find useful. But first, turn on the device. I'd like to go through and pair each of the devices first. For this keyboard, press the function and the Z with Bluetooth symbol keys at the same time to enter pairing mode. The keyboard light will turn on and start flashing blue. Now for Mac, go to Bluetooth page and select Anger a7726. If you don't see it, select keyboard. Connect. Just follow the instruction. Just press a couple of combination of buttons and you're good to go. Select the type and click done. As you can see, it's now connected to the map. Next, for a PC using Windows 11, you still have to press the function and the Bluetooth symbol keys at the same time to enter pairing mode once again. Start button, go to settings, select Bluetooth and devices, add device, and choose Bluetooth. Then look for Anchor A7726, the same. Select it. And your device is ready to go. For the iPad, hit those two buttons again and see the flashing light. Go to settings, then Bluetooth, and under my devices, select Anchor A7726, and you're good to go. On the iPhone, the same way as the iPad. Press those two buttons, see the light flashing, go to settings, then Bluetooth, and under other devices, select Anger A7726, and you are set. You might have to scroll up as you can see why. There. Now watch me switch from one device to another in one session. Not the easiest thing to do, but very manageable. Since each device has the keyboard profile, yes, you have to pair it again. But one additional thing to do is to remove or forget the profile first. For Mac, click on the eye and remove or forget this device. At this moment, it's still in pairing mode as you can see. Wait a few seconds and you should see under nearby devices, keyboard or Anger A7726. Then connect again. As you can see, it is now connected again. Now, this is a bit of a hassle, but if you want to use the keyboard for more than one device, this has to be. Now watch me do it again for a PC. You'll get used to it. Yep, those two buttons and a flashing light for pairing mode. For Windows, remove Anger A7726. Yes. And wait. Yes, of course, it's still in pairing mode. Add device again and select Bluetooth. Again, you'll see Anger A7726. Select it again. And your device is ready to go. Same for the iPad. Forget this device and wait. Sometimes you may have to get out from Bluetooth and get back in to see it under other devices. 
select a anchor A7726 and there, connect it. And finally, exact same for the iPhone. Under Bluetooth, forget this device and wait. And you can see under other devices, Anchor A7726, select and scroll up and there it is. So you know whichever device you last used with the keyboard, when you turn on the keyboard or when you press the button to wake the keyboard up, it will recognize it. You won't have to pair it for that device every time. Well, that's just about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please do come back.